Lenovo's ThinkCenter sub-brand includes a number of modular PCs called Tiny in Ones. As the name suggests, they are Lenovo's idea of all-in-ones. We've got the second generation 22-inch Tiny in One monitor over here, and with it you can pair several specially assembled PCs called Tiny PCs. This way, you can keep upgrading your all-in-one while keeping the same display. The complete assembly that we have is the Lenovo ThinkCenter Tiny in One 2 22-inch monitor and the Lenovo M900 Tiny PC. Let us take both of them for a spin. I'm Sohil Nikam, you're watching the Tech Shout channel on YouTube and this is a review of Lenovo's Tiny in One 2. First, let us take a look at the monitor. It's a 22-inch 1080p display, but there's also a 24-inch model available out there. Its height can be easily adjusted and the same goes for its angle. Additionally, there's a swivel at the bottom which helps you point it in the direction you want. Apart from showing stunning visuals thanks to the high resolution, this display even offers anti-glare technology. And I'm sure that you must have noticed it by now that the display is made to look so gorgeous by the fact that it has extremely thin bezels. On the front, you'll find two USB 3.0 ports and an audio port for easy headphone connections. Beside them is a 1.5 watt speaker which unfortunately isn't very loud but you can of course connect a third party speaker to the tiny PC that you'll be inserting into the display's back. Which brings us to that, the process of inserting the Lenovo M900 tiny PC into the display's back. You just slide it in and tighten this little screw. All you need to do now is insert the power cable inside the display port of the monitor and you're good to go. That's it, there are no separate power ports for the display and the PC which is great. And now for the M900 Tiny specs. At its heart is a 6th generation quad core i5 processor coupled with 8GB of RAM. But you can also go for an i7 model and 16 gigs of RAM. There's a 500GB hard drive inside this PC which is 2.5 inches in size which means you can easily swap it out for an SSD. Plus, there's even an M.2 slot on the motherboard. The M900 Tiny has two USB 2.0 ports and two audio ports on its front, while the back houses three more USB ports, a display port, an Ethernet port, and another audio port. And to add to that, this PC also supports Wi Fi AC and Bluetooth 4.0. Now since the M900 has been targeted towards the enterprise audiences, there's no reason to expect it to be a highly powered computer. However, it's not grossly underpowered as well. I could run Adobe Premiere Pro on it with no trouble at all. As for games, I fired up the latest Hitman on this PC and although it ran the game, I was getting poor frame rates of around 12 FPS. It's safe to say though that games that don't require much graphical power can run very smoothly on this one. The M900 which we have here for review comes with a hard drive. So the general speed will feel very slow for those who are used to SSDs. That's why it'll be a good choice to go for the SSD model from the start. The keyboard and mouse which come with this PC are pretty nice. The keys on the keyboard have a good amount of travel while the mouse too fulfills its purpose convincingly. The Lenovo M900 Tiny PC has been priced at Rs 50,000, while the Tiny In-1 2 monitor can be yours at somewhere around 10 to 15,000 rupees. That's quite an admirable price for the combination, considering that it's been aimed towards the enterprise audience. What's great is that the Tiny In-1 can also be considered by casual PC enthusiasts. You can buy for yourself a gorgeous monitor and fit inside it a tiny cabinet that doesn't take any space. But it's certainly not something gamers must go for, that's for sure. We're giving it 3.5 out of 5 stars.